Was it, uh, was it weird to dominate a one-goal game? Because that's kind of what it looked like out there. You know, those are, are difficult games to play in. Uh, you're getting all types of offensive chances, and uh, the pucks doesn't seem to be going in the net for you. And we talked about that. You know, uh, you know, our theme for the second game of every week is resilient Saturdays. Normally today it was resilient Friday. I thought we were real resilient because quite often those are the kind of games you're pressing, pressing. Guys get out of position. They're gambling too much to try and score because they're getting frustrated. But I thought our we had good defensive layers. Uh, did not give them a lot of opportunities. And uh, you know our game was good tonight. Uh, you know we, we we played six good periods of hockey to start the season, and that is an indication of our respect for Fair State. I mean you're talking about a team that won the WCHA playoffs last year, knocked off Slate St. Cloud in the regional. We have a lot of respect for Coach Daniels and their team, and you know it demanded our best to beat them here tonight. I mean it's a 2-1 game, and they've got their goalie pulled, and your heart's in your throat. You, you're kind of looking at the shot count, and you're thinking maybe I should be able to relax in a game, but certainly not tonight. You guys have been putting up a lot of shots the, all three years of the season so far. Um, is looking to finish on some of those opportunities going to be something you guys are looking at? Uh, that's that's, a, that's 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 not difficult. That's not a difficult question. Certainly, we'd like to finish better, but the positive thing is we're getting those chances, and I, I think our puck possession skills and the speed of our team, you know, this is kind of what we've been building to. And and last year was a frustrating year for everybody in our program. And we've we've only played two games so far, so the only thing I know is we're going to at least win two games this year. And we're going to build, but it's such a tough uh, level of hockey, Division One college, and. You know, we're going to continue to work on our scoring, our finishing. But what I like is the fact that when we're getting shots, means we have the puck a lot, and the other team can't play offense. And you know, the best way to play defense is to have the puck, and we're doing a good job of that. Lawton Cornell was a real pain in the side for uh, Ferris State this weekend. Can you just kind of expand upon his play? Well, Lawton, uh, you know, if if you, if. And, and, and all of you people are too young to remember, but his dad was an outstanding National Hockey League player. I believe played over 1,200 games. It was one of the fastest guys that, that played the game. And Lawton brings a lot of those characteristics. Thing. The only thing that differentiates his dad and Lawton right now is, is his dad tended to score on a few of those breakaways. And, but, uh, you know, Lawton's got great speed. I mean, I think our young group as a whole, uh, when we're playing them all, and we're playing them lots of minutes too. So, um, you know, he's a good player. Cam Lee, kind of a guy on the defense that we haven't really seen around here in a while, just always on the pocket and has a lot of moves and speed. Yeah, you know, Cam Lee, I think, reminds us a little bit of Jordan Osterley and that skating ability back there and able to attack as that fourth guy. And, uh, you know, he's an enthusiastic young player. We need to keep him aware of his defensive responsibilities as well. But, you know, he's, he's, he can make things happen with the puck for sure. And then the big thing last night, um, at least on the defensive end, was, was not clearing out the rebounds. It resulted in two goals, and the Broncos do an excellent job of that tonight. You know, it was something we addressed to Adam uh, before the game, that we had to do a better job of boxing out and making sure that uh, they weren't getting extra ch chance opportunities. I mean, I know Ben Blacker did a great job of managing the puck back there, moving it as well, helped us with our breakouts. And I think the one thing that we did tonight is, in the offensive zone, we really took the, the, the eyes of the goaltender away. We were... You know, around that front of the net screening them, I thought Aiden Muir this weekend had an outstanding weekend in terms of creating traffic in front of their net and not letting their goalie see it. So uh, it's all a weekend for us. Uh, now we've got to get prepared for, for Bowling Green, and, uh, you know, we'll do that and obviously look forward to cheering for our football team tomorrow night. As well.